Hello. Good evening, all of you. Welcome, all of you. Audio, video clear. So let's start the session. This is the third session in this new course, uh, a, a new Outlook course where we discuss entire CSCR net general aptitude section in a duration of 50 lectures through this channel daily session or Monday to Friday mainly sessions will be there from 8.30 to 9 o'clock every day half an hour. So uh, that is how the session will be uh, continuing. Please invite your friends, let more people join, hit the like button, share this video to maximum people. And new students, by the time more people join, very fast, I'll just mention the other resources you can use. There's a Telegram channel and WhatsApp group where you will get the extra study materials, flashcards and other free resources and daily free quizzes also you will be getting there. So all of you are welcome to be part of the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. This is how you can be part of the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. You can just search Christie's classes in Telegram and find the Telegram channel. And there is an associated discussion group where you can discuss all your doubts and uh, uh, your uh, other uh, group mates will also help you out for learning general aptitude as a group learning experience you can get there. And WhatsApp group is also there. This is how to be part of the WhatsApp group by texting to this number. And these are the other courses in my profile in YouTube channel itself. You can find these courses. And this is the bestseller book for CSCR net part A section. This is available in Amazon and Flipkart. Search this title, you will find uh, this book. And tomorrow, Jesse sir will be teaching you uh, the number system topic. Uh, tomorrow, I will not be taking, as I told, two educators are taking this course, Christy Vergas and Jesse P. Francis. Both, both of us are actually authors of this book, CSCR net general aptitude and new outlook. So this is the complete schedule of this course. This is the third lecture tips and tricks for general aptitude. Tomorrow onwards, we will start the topics, each topics. Uh, both of us are together taking this course so that you will have daily session or Monday to Friday session frequently so that you will not have a break and you can learn general aptitude completely before your CSCR net exam. So let us start more about this course. I have told in the beginning or in the first lecture why this course and how this course will be proceeding and all. Yesterday we discussed about the shortcut methods of general aptitude. Those of you missed that session, that lecture video is available in this profile. Uh, okay, and uh, the moderators are there. Uh, Srishti, Pratik and um, um, Swati, they will help you out uh, to clear your doubts also. In the live chat, they will reply you. Uh, they exactly know how this course goes and other uh, details and other resources. So you can uh, um, take their reply as the official reply from Christie's classes itself. So the moderators are here to help you out to clear your doubts regarding the course, doubts regarding resources, how to access and how to attend the uh, upcoming sessions and everything. Okay, so let's start. Tips and tricks for general aptitude. First tip for general aptitude section is have an objective approach. General aptitude section is objective type question paper. Now objective type question paper you should attempt like an objective type question paper. The problem is many people attempt objective type question paper like a descriptive exam itself. That is not effective. That will be very time consuming if you do objective type questions like a descriptive question paper. And I cannot or the problem is you are habited to descriptive question papers right from maybe first standard till your uh, MSc exams. All the exams or almost all the exams were actually descriptive exams. So, but that skills are not enough to do objective type question papers. Specifically, you should know how to reject options also. Yesterday, I have shown you a few examples when I discussed about shortcut methods. Selecting the correct answer is good, but rejecting the wrong answer is even more good in many questions. So when you see a question, don't just read the question and solve the question. That is a mistake many people do. Read the question and the options given. Then choose the least time consuming method. Which are the least time consuming method? Yesterday I have briefly discussed. And then only solve the question. 
For example, all of you try this question. With this question, I will explain more about the rejection approach. Make a try, all of you. No, Ria, the schedule is already published in the beginning of the course now. In this course, half an hour daily, new, new topics every day. Extra learning, you can check out the uh, link we have posted in Telegram and WhatsApp. After every class, the link is pro provided where you can get the study materials for the particular class. In that, in that link, you will get other videos you can watch by which you can learn more or the questions I have given homework yesterday. Those question solutions are also there in that videos. That video link also are included in that link, uh, in included in that study material we have provided. So please understand this is a holistic course, half an hour daily class, which motivates you to learn more through the daily quizzes, daily homework questions and the extra videos we are providing. Exactly Manisha. Yeah, like to know uh, how many of you tried those questions. The study materials we are providing, hope you are able to access it properly. We are providing it even better than a PDF. We are making a blog post itself so that you can access it freely or access it uh, flawlessly. Many of you got an answer. Very good, very good. This is a CSAR net question which was asked in 2022, last year question. Seating arrangement chapter problem. Six persons PQRSTU sit around a circular table with equal distances between neighbors. So, if I just, yeah, circular arrangement, when we discuss seating arrangement chapter, I will teach you the technique. But six people means you have to draw a hexagon. And in the vertices of the hexagon, you are trying to place these people. Now, many informations are given, but if you have the right approach, Look at the options. Option is asking not possible. Possible nahi, not possible pucha hai. You, you need to find which is impossible. Which is impossible. And impossibility is telling about diametrically opposite pair. Diametrically opposite means these two are diametrically opposite. These two are diametrically opposite. These two are diametrically opposite. Which pair cannot be diametrically opposite? Now, from the question, you can see T and R are already diametrically opposite. For example, if I place T here, R is already here. Now, T's diametrically opposite pair is T, R. R's diametrically opposite pair is R, T. That means, look at this option. S and T can be diametrically opposite. That is impossible, na? Because already T and R are diametrically opposite. Then how T and S can be diametrically opposite? That is impossible. Question is asking which is impossible. Not possible means impossible. So option C is the answer. Only one sentence was enough. With respect to yesterday's class, if I tell this is called elimination by selected statements. Or what I did is the power of rejection we have did. Rejecting is important in some cases or some questions. All of you understood this, please respond. All other informations are not needed at all. And that is actually another point also. Choose the right starting point. Choosing the right starting point is also important. Choosing the right starting point is important. That is another tip I want to uh, discuss. Due to lack of time, I will discuss it together. Choosing the right starting point is very important. In this question, choosing the right starting point was we have an information about diametrically opposite pairs. From that information we started and that finished the question very fast. And another tip was ignoring irrelevant data. When you started, the, started at the right starting point, many of the remaining data are irrelevant. Irrelevant data. Hai. Why it is irrelevant? Because look at this. In this, T and R are diametrically opposite to each other. So, S and T diametrically opposite is impossible. So, all other informations are irrelevant now for this particular method. So, that is how you should use the power of rejecting the options also. That is an example of objective approach. Did you all understood what is objective approach? More about these kinds of questions, you can check out in the study material we will be providing. Today's study material, most probably tomorrow we will post in the Telegram channel, Telegram group and in the YouTube community tab also. So, those of you who don't want to miss any of the updates, subscribe this channel, hit the bell icon, also be part of the Telegram and WhatsApp group so that you will not miss any of the updates we will be posting. 
Okay, so the next step is the time factor. Specifically for CSAR net exam, the time factor is very important. Part A, Part B, Part C, there are three sections for CSAR net exam. Na? Part A is the section we are discussing, but you should assign part A, time for Part A also, Part B also, Part C also separately. The mistake many people make is, they don't have a plan, they just go for the exam. Having no plan is the plan they have. And the problem is they will start with say Part B. They will take two and half hours for Part B only. Then half an hour only remaining. They will try half an hour for Part C. Then they realize that one minute also not enough, not remaining. So Part A cannot be attempted at all. They practice a lot for Part A but not able to manage time. That should not happen. Time management is very important. Let me tell you, many students I know who are very good, very good marks they got in MSc. But when they when they tried CSAR net exam for the first time, they were not able to adapt to this time bound exam pattern. Till your MSc, time is not a big factor. Yes, definitely time is a factor. But it is not like you you don't have time to even try half of half of the questions in the exam. That is not the situation till MSc exams. But when it comes to competitive exams, even half of the questions of the total questions to try that also. It is not that easy. You have to manage time for that. And if you look at the cutoff also, almost half of the total mark will be your cutoff for LS and for JRF it may be a little more higher. Out of 200, if you got almost 100, you will clear the LS, most of the subjects. Sometimes the LS cutoff is a little more higher also. That means attempting half of the question correctly also, you can actually get the answer easily or uh, you can clear the exam easily. What I am trying to say is, managing time is very important. That is why the cutoff is also not that high. Yeah, still students think that it is very high. I agree. That is because the time management issue is there. So you should assign time for part A, part B, part C separately. And for part A, 30 minutes should be the maximum time. I always tell, I see many educators advertising, attend my classes, get 30 out of 30 in part A. But normally we don't advertise that because Getting 30 out of 30 is not a big thing at all. Getting maximum mark in minimum time is more important. Maximum mark in minimum time. I will tell you what does that mean. Getting 30 out of 30 in 45 minutes and getting 25 out of 30 in 30 minutes. Which is better? Can you tell me? Option A, option B. Which is better overall? For CSAR net exam, getting 30 out of 30 in 45 minutes or 25 out of 30 in 30 minutes, which is better? I will say definitely option B is better because here you are getting 30 in 30 minutes. That means you are saving 15 minutes from the first option. By that 15 minutes here you are getting only 5 mark extra. That 5 mark you can get from your subject part more easily. Not spending 15 minutes you can get. 5 marks from your subject part. That is why I am saying getting 30 out of 30 is not very important. If you get it good, but you should get it in 30 minutes, not more than that. How much marks you can get from part A in 30 minutes, that is important. By practicing more and more, your speed of calculation will increase, speed of understanding question will increase. By this course itself, you will be able to do that. So that should be focused. That means specifically every question 2 minutes only. 15 questions only maximum you can attempt in the first class I told you that. 15 questions 2 minutes each means 30 minutes maximum. So if you are attempting 15 questions 30 minutes. If you are attempting 10 questions 20 minutes is enough. So that part B and part C you can get enough time and thereby you can easily clear the exam. So save time from part A and give it to part B and part C. That is a strategy. For that, you should practice part A better. That is why, uh, uh, yeah, as I told, it's a good tagline to say, attend my classes and get 30 out of 30. But I will say it is better to get maximum mark in minimum minimum time. That is the focus of this course. To make you enable getting maximum mark in minimum time. So that you will be able to choose the right question. That is very important. So, time factor, I hope all of you understood it. Then choosing the right method, about that yesterday I already told you in detail, the 15 methods. 
I have discussed about five methods and I have given two more extra videos how to approach general aptitude questions in the study materials. Those of you missed the study materials, check out the community tab after subscribing this channel. If you are not part of WhatsApp and Telegram, you can check the community tab feature in this uh, YouTube channel. I think after subscribing only that will be visible that I am not sure. Just check the community tab feature. So anyway, choosing the right up, right method is very important. I always say the analogy of cricket. A good cricket batsman know how to judge the ball. Which ball is playable, which ball, ball should be skipped. Same way, choosing the right method is or which shot to play. Cricket analogy if I extend. Which shot to play that is also important. Same way, which question to try that is also important. So, the next tip I want to tell you is choosing the right question. Out of 20 questions, you cannot try out all 20 questions. That is impossible because 15 questions maximum you can attempt. You cannot attempt more than that. So, which 15 questions you should choose? For that also, I will tell you a general observation by the experience I have of teaching more than 1 lakh CSCR net aspirants and teaching for almost 10 years, analyzing CSCR net question papers for the last 10-15 years. What I have observed is all question papers, CSCR net exam, whichever subject, whichever year, part A section, about 7 to 8 questions will be easy. Easy means the questions which can be done in one and a half minutes also if you practice well. Every question paper will have 7 to 8 questions like that. On an average, it may increase to 10 questions also. Sometimes even last exam, some papers had about 10 questions which are easy, which are doable in one and a half minutes if you practice properly. Then there will be 5 to 6 questions which are medium level. Medium level means by practice you can do it in 2 minutes easily. 2 minutes you should do a question. So those questions you should choose in my opinion. Then there will be difficult questions. Difficult does not mean impossible. Difficult means those are the questions which will take more than 2 minutes. That I don't normally suggest you to try. Because difficult questions you are taking more than 2 minutes. That same time if you give to your subject part questions, you can get more marks from there. So that is why first focus on this easy and medium level questions. That is 7 to 8, best case scenario, 8 plus 6, 14 questions you can get from there itself. Getting 14 questions only, that is not a problem at all. 14 questions, if you correctly do, you will get 28 marks. 28 is very good if you are able to get it in 30 minutes. So that is why choosing the right question is very important. For example, in 2022, this question was very simple. There were three fathers, six sons in a room. Every father ev and every son are present. So here, yeah, I am not going for the solution in detail. I will just show you a diagram. You can just go through it. When I discuss blood relation chapter, I will be discussing this in detail. Again, these questions we will discuss in detail when we discuss the chapters. So this was a situation. So how many people are there? 4 plus 3, 7 people. So 7 is the answer. If you have a basic idea of blood relation, this question was very easily, easy. All of you audio video is clear now. Audio video clear. Now next tip I want to tell you is find the catch in the question. Some questions will have some keywords or phrases which will give you answer super fast. For example, this question. This question all of you can try. This question was asked in 2017 and 2022. This question I have explained maybe more than 1000 times in different platforms. What is the volume of the soil in an open pit of size 2 meter into 2 meter into 10 centimeter? Some people make a mistake. By looking at the question, they may think that this is a question to make, to find volume. 2 into 2 into, they will convert this and say the volume. No, this is not a question to find the volume. Read the question carefully. Find the catch in the question. Catch in the question is volume of soil, Pucha. The question is asking the volume of soil. In an empty pit, open pit means empty pit, pit to empty hai, empty hai to soil nahi hai na. As the pit is empty, the pit does not contain any soil. The dimension of the pit is not necessary at all. Pit contains nothing, so the volume is zero. So finding the catch in the question that it is an empty pit or open pit, 
and the volume of soil is asked not volume of pit if volume of pit is asked definitely the answer is 4 into 4 into 0 0.1 0 0.4 and that answer will also be there in the options that is how CSI will trick you but option C is the correct answer so finding the catch in the question is important that will give you answer super fast about ignoring irrelevant data I already showed you examples that uh, uh, seating arrangement question this is another example again no time to discuss this you can check this out in the study material we will add this these all are irrelevant data only this data is needed 900 people singles and married people singles double is married people so singles plus two times singles is three times singles is 900 from that you can get the number of singles is 300 so married people number will be double of that 600 so again explanation of this question is not important what I am trying to say is many dummy data will be given in the question many a times you should know that CSAR will do that putting dummy data that is also something that is different from school days when you were in school questions whatever question was there whatever data was there in any question all of them were relevant irrelevant data and ahitha but now there will be irrelevant data. You should know how to identify them and avoid them. If you just worry about that irrelevant data, you will not get answer because that are not data that is need. That data is not needed at all. So ignoring irrelevant data is very important. Are you getting? Again, once again, let me tell you, don't say that I didn't solve this question. Solving this question is not the, not the agenda of today's class. This question we will solve in the particular chapter, finding the X chapter. And next step, by practice, Ria. So choose the right starting point. I already showed you that example of that seating arrangement question. There the starting point was, T and S was opposite to each other. That starting point we started. Another seating arrangement question itself, if you had the right starting point, this sentence if you start the question is over. Otherwise, the question is very complicated. I will explain it very fast. If C is sitting four places to the left of F, C is sitting four places to the left of F means C and F in between three people are there. C and F in between three people are there. Total seven people only are there. Question is finally asking who cannot sit at the center? Who cannot sit at the center? So if you read the question properly and choose the right starting point, F cannot sit at the center because if F sit at the center, from the center there is only three places to the left. Then how C will sit? Because fourth place from the left, from the left of F is C. So C cannot sit if F is at the center because from the center three people only to the left, three people to the right. So if F is at the center, C should sit here but there is no seat there. That is why C cannot sit. That is a contradiction because all conditions should satisfy now c should sit four places to the left of f so if f is sitting at the center this problem is there that means f should not sit at the center so who cannot sit at the center f cannot sit at the center when i teach you seating arrangement chapter i will discuss this more in detail now another tip is be fast in arithmetic for some question at least being fast in arithmetic is important this is an example of such a question where your skills of squaring numbers that I will teach you in another class how to use speed maths or Vedic maths to speed, your, speed up your calculation. Already there is a playlist in this channel for speed maths or Vedic maths. You can check it out or in up, an upcoming session I will give you basic idea. Tip number 9 learn basic formula or learn basic concepts. Learn basic formula or learn basic concept means some chapters or many chapters some basic ideas you should have. For example, numbers chapter, classification of numbers you should know. What are the different types of numbers? What is sum of first and natural numbers? What is sum of first and even natural numbers? What is sum of first and odd natural numbers, etc. Or how to identify perfect square? What all can be the last digits of perfect square? What all can be tens digit of perfect square? Or what are laws of exponents? Or what is how to identify last digit of power? These flashcards are available in my telegram group. And in my upcoming classes, I will explain these flashcards in detail in the particular chapters. What I am trying to say is some basic formula, some basic concept you should know. Especially probability, permutation, combination, 
and some of the formulas you should unlearn also in school days you have learned from profit percent loss percent discount percent i will say these are useless formula now you should know the logical formula or logical alternatives of it because then only you can do it in faster uh, faster way or you can do it in lesser time so these logical formula some formulas you should unlearn also just don't um, just don't uh, up, don't use school formula itself for all question nishan we will discuss that in particular chapter today we are not going to discuss all the concepts that is not today's agenda arithmetic mean harmonic mean geometric mean and uh, speed distance time a formula speed distance time ka formula average speed ka formula average speed ka formula some people do speed plus speed by 2 that is totally wrong that formula is this. Why that formula is so? We will discuss in the particular chapter. Calendar may. What are odd days? What is leap year? How to identify leap year? Those things. And there also some people believe that every four year there is a leap year. That is totally wrong. In our school days we had a misconception like that. Every four year there is a leap year. That is a wrong assumption. There is a second criteria of leap year. We will discuss in calendar problem chapter. What I am trying to say is some basic ideas you should have. Geometry, based on this formula, three times questions were asked directly based on this formula. In net exam also, in gate exam also. And circle theorems, at least these three theorems you should know. At least these three theorems. So, clock problem. If you know this formula, you can do most of the questions in clock problem very easily. And formula related to this mensuration, area, perimeter, volume. These are the basic perimeter, area, volume. You can pause the video and check, take the screenshot if you want later. And another tip I want to tell you is double check the keywords in the question. Some questions will have a keyword. For example, this is a November 2020 net exam problem. Here rupees per carat likha hai. It is written rupees per carat. But many people when they attempted this question, they wrote, read this as rupees and got a wrong answer. That will give you a wrong answer and that wrong answer is present in the answer option. So double check the keywords in the question is very important. And find the easy common sense questions. Some questions are like common sense. This is actually AN reverses NA, EF reverses FE, HG reverses GH reverses HG. This is sodium, iron, mercury. Sodium, iron, mercury, first letter is SIM. So, SN reversed is, NS reversed is SN. SN is tin. Tin first letter is T. So, option A is the answer. Common sense in the sense, you should have some basic understanding of your school science also. This is a general science question. But, basically this question is very easy if you know that basic idea. But, you should connect it to that idea that this is something from our school days. Again, I am not saying that everyone will get this idea super fast in exam time because in exam hall, due to panic itself, many silly mistakes we can make. That is the next step. Beware of very simple answers. Sometimes when you see the question, you will feel like the question is so simple. For example, December 2017 question. Just read this question later in detail. Density 1 is, one is given, density 2 is given, you have to find the resultant density. Some people by mistake said 6 plus 4 by 2 is the answer 5. That is there in the answer option, but that is totally wrong. Density cannot be calculated like that. It is 2d1 d2 divided by d1 plus d2. Just like average speed I have shown you now in a previous flashcard. Average density, you cannot find average of the densities. Why it is so, we will discuss in detail. It is 2 into 6 into 4 divided by 6 plus 4. When you simplify it, you will get it as 4.8. I know that I am rushing through the topics because these topics are not important today. Today, I am just telling you the tips. Just giving you a, a flash of what is about to happen. In the upcoming sessions, we will discuss all these things. These are some of the common mistakes students can make. Or these are some basic exam hacks you should know. Another tip was consider all the cases of the question. Consider all the cases of the question. For example, a seating arrangement question. I am not explaining this. But many a times students when they read a sentence, they will think that this is the only possibility. Or another example is a uh, blood relation question. This is also a previous CSA net question. When you read it first, you will feel like answer is option B. 
then some of you may get option C as the answer but both of them are wrong because option D is the answer because there are two cases possible in blood relation basically from male perspective and female perspective you have to think otherwise you will get a wrong answer here both the perspective you have to consider then only you will get the correct answer which was option D in blood relation chapter we will discuss that in detail but Keep this in mind, considering all cases of the question is important. Final tip, power of negative thinking. Sometimes negative thinking is important. Yeah, motivational speakers always say positive thinking, power of positive thinking. But I will say power of negative thinking is needed in some questions. What is power of negative thinking? Basically, that is called complement idea. Probability chapter, permutation combination chapter, numbers chapter. Many chapters is negative thinking, set theory chapter. Negative thinking is very important. What is negative thinking? Instead of finding what we need, find what we don't need and remove it. Yeah, as a general principle in your life also I can tell you. If you are confused about what you should do or uh, the purpose of your life, just avoid the things that is not necessary in your life. Then you will understand what you actually need in your life. So, yeah, power of negative thinking is just a tagline just to catch your attention. What I am trying to say is, in many questions, what is not necessary if you remove? Probability question especially. Complement idea. Probability of A complement is 1 minus probability of A. That is an example of negative thinking or complement idea. So by that you can actually do many questions. I am not taking example due to lack of time. But we will discuss that in detail in an upcoming session. The power of negative thinking or complement idea is very important. And um, for that I always tell this example. Uh, a good, uh, good uh, this, uh, a person who make a sculpture. You know what is a sculpture, right? What is it in Hindi? I don't know. So to make a sculpture, a good person who know to make the sculpture, he can actually from a stone when he making the sculpture, he will actually remove what is not the sculpture from the stone and what is remaining is the sculpture actually. So that is also an example of negative thinking. We will discuss that in detail in upcoming class. So don't worry, all these things we will discuss. So picture abhi bhi baki hai, ye just, uh, this is just the trailer of the full movie. Tomorrow onwards we will start the topic by topic discussion. So the first three classes were uh, like first class was general introduction, second class was shortcut methods for general aptitude, third class today's was tips and tricks for general aptitude. Hope you got an overall idea, like to hear your feedback and do hit the like button if this was useful because that will help YouTube to understand that this video should be recommended to maximum people. Uh, those of you, I don't know whether, uh, how many of you know about, uh, those who join you, I, I don't know, uh, I, yes, Shruti, yeah, I, actually in this course, I am trying to follow in English only because if I use Hindi also, uh, we cannot complete in 30 minutes, but any class, if I get time towards the end, I will summarize in Hindi. I can teach in Hindi, but. I will summarize in Hindi in some classes when I get time. So, uh, those of you, some of the sessions I have given in my channel, Hindi videos are also there, especially some of the videos in this gate course. That was bilingual course. That also you can check, those of you want. Okay, so as I told, check out the other courses also uh, in this channel for extra learning of general aptitude and for other exams also for UPSC exam for Vedic maths also I have given many sessions check it out uh, and tomorrow uh, please welcome Jesse sir he will be taking the class tomorrow uh, tomorrow's topic is number numbers and number system so uh, he will train you in a totally different way to uh, yeah enlighten you to think maths in a proper way or in a totally different way he is a very famous professor uh, based on based in Bangalore. So he was a professor in St. Joseph University and MCC Chennai. So he will be taking class tomorrow on number system and it will be a totally new revelation how to see numbers. So hope that will be a very useful session. Uh, so yes Nishant.
Kajal, this course will be half an hour itself. Follow the study material. You will find more than two hour or three hour sessions, uh, three hour lectures related to the particular topic. Yeah, all of you try to invite your friends. Let more and more people attend the session. Motivate us to be motivated daily to daily to take sessions. So please do that. Take an effort. Many of you are doing that. See, happy to see more and more new people daily. So all of you take an effort to invite more of your friends so that uh, more people can be part of this uh, course. And we will be motivated daily to come at 8.30 p.m. and deliver sessions and complete this course before your exam. Yes, Shubham, for non-verbal ability topics of GATE, this course will be useful for non-verbal ability. For GATE specific courses are also there. GATE 2024 general aptitude course is already available. For CSIR, CSIR net general aptitude full course also you can refer. And general aptitude 2023 full solution I have given. 2022 full solution I have given. All other previous years question, my team have uploaded video solutions also. So check it out. By that you can learn a lot through this free classes itself. You don't have to pay anything. Just Try to bring a bigger crowd that will motivate educators to take more and more free classes. Not only me, any educators, try to motivate them. To be frank, now is the time for many educators. They are also confused how to proceed and all. We have figured it out how to proceed. But many educators are confused also. So motivate them, uh, support them to help you out, uh, uh, help you out to clear your exams. So, motivate educators also, that is my gentle suggestion. Uh, yes, PK, that is what I told. We have figured it out how this course will proceed. So, hopefully, you will get a very good, complete learning of CSE and general aptitude. Please check out the study materials also. Through that, you can completely learn. Some of you may be thinking half an hour, I am not taking enough content. Because as I told, the objective of this course is like that. Half an hour content and extra learning through the study materials, free quizzes homework questions like that so please do that follow that and if you felt the session is good do hit the like button and do comment on this video what you felt about this session thank you all of you take care all of you have a good night see you all in the next class bye bye